Lesson number two. The length of the prayer is very important in the issue, in the equation. Wow. Now it's difficult. It's difficult. Verse 12, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. They used to start any battle at the sunrise, and they finish the day at sunset, and they start again tomorrow. And Moses went and started to pray at the sunrise. And he could see from up the hill what is happening. Joshua didn't understand what's happening, but Moses could see it. So he determined to keep his hands up, up, 12 hours. Try to do it for five minutes. <laughs> it's not easy. Why? Why? He's the man of God. He has the staff of God. He can go and in five minutes finish the work. Lord, help Joshua. Amen. And you go home. <laughs> it's not magic. Prayer is a process. You pray. You allow God to intervene. You insist that he may go and visit him until he visits him. And then the other guy, and then the other guy. As long as we pray, God is in action. As long as we stop prayer, God cannot do it. Because through our prayers, we allow him to intervene supernaturally. From where did you get the idea? From Isaiah 62. Isaiah 62, verse 6 and 7. I have posted watchmen on your walls, O Jerusalem, O the church. They will never be silent day or night. Why? You who call on the Lord, give yourselves no rest and give him, God, no rest. God is challenging us. Don't give me any rest. I want to work day and night. I want to perform miracles. I want to intervene. Because of you, I can do it. If you, go, if you give yourself rest, you are giving me rest. But if you decide not to give yourself rest, you are allowing me to work day and night. It's the length of the prayer. With the modern society, we want everything to be quick. Instant. For our request, we don't need to spend long time. For our needs, God knows better than us what we need. I can go and, you know what I want. I trust you. You don't need to spend more time for your needs, but for the kingdom of God. It's the length of the prayer. It's how long we will pray. Because as long as we pray, things We have prayed for so long for the unity of the church in Egypt. Years. To see this miracle happening. The church to come together in unity. The Orthodox, the Catholic, the Evangelicals, to be one like Jesus prayed in John 17. Until a day of 11, 11, 11, we could see this Happening, 35,000 people came together in the cave church. Orthodox, Catholic, evangelicals, to spend how many? 12 hours, from 6 p.m. until 6 a.m., praising, worshiping, praying, crying for the nation. That day was the beginning of the real unity of the Church of Christ in the land of Egypt. It was a miracle after so long. It's the length of the prayer. But not only the length, it's the depth. 